Eugenics was a movement that was born in the United States under hard doctrines of racism with the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community in this country. With the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community in this country. With the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community in this country. Buzzing. Radars is buzzing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you go out and buy Monsanto product, you can plant your garden with all this Monsanto product, and it may actually produce seeds in the in the in the crops. But those seeds will not. You can't plant those seeds and grow another crop from them next year. It won't happen because they're hybrids. They're without seed. Now, I want you to think about how many people who may be these hybrid people from these watchers who are gathering afterward, who are gathering right now. Remember that a third of heaven fell with Hasatan, but only 200 came to earth. You can't tell me that there's only 600 angels in heaven when scripture describes an innumerable multitude. But a third of those angels fell, only 200 of them are, are chained on earth, the original fallen watchers. And so you have this continual interface of these dimensional creatures crossing in, becoming donors for these children, and then producing hybrid children who cannot breed. Now, many of these hybrid children who cannot breed, when you look at the situation, if you go back to 1960, most of the people in this country, most of the people in the world were married and had children. They were married and they had children. But now if you're creating and you're populating the world with a specific breed, of hybrid that is incapable of breeding. The hybrid is incapable of breeding. So you have to disguise this hybrid such that it does not appear inordinate. Well, one way you can do that is to push forward the LGBT movement where you have an understanding from most of the population that same-sex couples are not going to be having children naturally. They have to have children some other way. They either have to adopt or they have to have in, vi in vitro fertilization. And otherwise, they're not having children. That is the expectation among same-sex couples. All right. So into that, you can push in these hybrids who aren't going to have any children. And you can claim whatever, but now there's no expectation that every person is going to be married and have children. And the hybrid can carefully disguise themselves. Now, in addition to that, we see that the Baphomet is a bi-species, bi-gendered uh, creature. That is to say, male and female human, and human and goat, right? So because of that, what you're seeing now is you're seeing a lot of people, and I think these are people who were part of this hybrid crop, this donor crop that has been, the seed has been given over to Molech, or Molechot, and, or Molakim, and that because the seed has been given over or taken over, one of the two, given over or taken over, that you're producing, that they are producing people who cannot have children, and many of those people become transgendered, where women become men or men become women. Part of this transgendered uh, push, and this is not to slander people who are voluntarily becoming transgendered, but I'm talking about people who have been doing this surreptitiously for years as part of a worship system of Baphomet, okay? It's not just a sexual predilection for some of these people, but rather a worship system to worship the Baphomet by doing these transsexual things. I'm not saying that all transgendered individuals follow the Baphomet or that that is their impetus, but I believe that there is a percentage that do, and that their that their reason for doing it is to pay homage to the Baphomet, and uh, some of these uh, some of this comes out of longtime families that are doing this. Some of this comes out of longtime bloodlines that are doing this, and you know, so you're seeing some very interesting stuff uh, that's happening now. Suppose, for instance, that a lot of this transgendered line of people 
are also making sure that they do not accidentally create progeny. In other words, we don't want any seed outside the cloned seed. You know, just as Monsanto won't allow you to have a mixed crop, right? We're planting Monsanto seed. You keep your natural stuff out of here. In fact, I think there's been some cases where they have sued to keep natural seed from being planted next to a Monsanto crop so that natural seed doesn't come in there and actually proliferate the field where you can actually regrow without buying the Monsanto seed. So I don't know that for sure, but I have heard those stories, okay? So, you know, the same question here, if you're cloning individuals or you're breeding individuals through test tube pregnancies only, where you're pre-selecting the DNA, this is the father and this is the mother, you're pre-selecting that DNA and then you're placing it, and then that DNA is then deposited in the donor mom, you can see where you're, you're going to get a lot of really interesting things happening, but you have absolute complete control over the DNA of the child that's being born, you see? And so I don't know if this is the reason why this transgendered stuff is happening, uh, but I do know that there is a lot more to this movement than meets the eye. And you cannot factor out the Baphomet as being part of this protocol. Maybe not all, but certainly part of this protocol. So when we see this now, we see that we're dealing now with the world with which we do not necessarily know uh, what it is that we have in front of us. We don't know what it is that we have in front of us. We don't know uh, the wheat, we don't know the tares, and we don't know this incidence of crossing over, if you will. Because this is what the word abar means in the scripture, to cross over, to cross over. And it's a significant issue, and, uh, you know, so it's something that I'm hoping that the audience will consider, okay? So that's it. Hitler was, you know, and the Nazis, of course, expanded on Margaret Sanger's approach to eugenics, right? Eugenics was a movement that was born in the United States under hard doctrines of racism with the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community in this country, right? To eliminate them. With the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community in this country, right? To eliminate them with the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community in this country, right, to eliminate them. So, girls, for $100, we will pay you for your egg. Uh, no, you, you $100? Can be out of monkey. You, want <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can get paid a lot more than that. So how much do you want for it? Let's bid. Yeah, I bid $500 for, you know, I'm prepared to outbid him anyway. Right? <laughs> Whatever I bid, he's going to outbid me. I bought about, I bought about $60,000 worth of eggs. Yeah. If you, have a, if you have a portion, that's very valuable. Salute the truth from the prophet, say. I, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Inside my DNA. Inside my DNA. My DNA not for imitation, or DNA an abomination, or DNA an abomination, or DNA an abomination. Eugenics was a movement that was born in the United States under hard doctrines of racism with the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community in this country, right? to eliminate them. That's why she formed Planned Parenthood, was specifically to kill African-American uh, you know, black Americans. That's why she did it. Buzzing. Radar's is buzzing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts? Please be respectful with your comments. Also, please click the like, click the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel. Listen, Genesis chapter 11, verse 10, explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14, verse 13, Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Canaan, 
here. Let me do some explaining. Abraham, Isaac was the father. Jacob had 12 sons, for real. And these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, children of Israel, according to Genesis chapter 10.